Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Mike Werner and in this video we're going to continue our look at activity-based costing and we'll be focusing on stage one allocation. That is we're going to take the total manufacturing overhead cost of 490,000 and we're going to allocate it to the separate activity uh, cost pools. That is stage one of the activity-based costing allocation system. Stage two would be allocating the cost from the activity pools down to the products themselves. That would be stage two. That's going to be covered in the next video. Now, to do this video, it's helpful to have a form that we can fill out. So I'm going to take a moment, erase all of this, recreate a form here on, on uh, the whiteboard. In the meantime, take a look at this form on my computer. It's the form I'm going to be putting on the whiteboard. And uh, you can take a screenshot of this uh, document print it out and then you can follow along with me and fill in the uh, form as I go along. Alternatively, you can just recreate the form yourself and that's probably better. You know, just uh, back here in the at the whiteboard, uh, that's better. You can just sort of recreate the form as, as I've got it on the board. I don't have it on the board yet, but uh, just draw it up yourself. And it's probably even better if you recreate the form yourself because you'll probably remember it a little bit better if you create the form. So anyway, in just a moment, uh, we'll be back, and, and I will have uh, put the, you know, my version of the form up here on the board, and then we'll go through and work out the solution. So see you in just a minute. Now that I've got my form here on the board, and hopefully you've been able to uh, download, or not download, but take a screenshot of the form that's, uh, uh, that I showed you off my computer, and you've got that in hand, uh, as an alternative, you can go ahead and draw this out. So the next thing I want to do is enter some estimates. And I'm going to assume that we have contacted folks in the factory. We've had a few meetings and so forth with engineers, accountants, and supervisors, and workers, and so forth. And we've come up with some percentages here of how much setup is using of these various different aspects of manufacturing overhead. So what we found out is that uh, setup uses about 10% 10% of supervisory cost. So super, supervision times the 10% means that the uh, amount of supervision attributable to, to uh, setup cost would be the $3,000, $3,000. 10% of 30000 is 3000 So we go ahead and put $3,000 in here. And we've got the percentages from for, for all of these different uh, uh, activities in the factory and for each of the costs. And so the next thing I want to do is jot them down for you. So we've got uh, factory rent, uh, 20% is used by uh, the area, the setup area. Actually, a lot of the indirect labor is involved with setup. And so it turns out that uh, setup uses 50% of the uh, indirect labor. Of depreciation, they don't use too much equipment. It's only 5%, 5%. And then of the supplies, they're using quite a bit of the supplies. 30% of the supplies are used for setup. And then finally, utilities, they're only using 10% of the utilities. And then we, uh, what we're going to do is multiply each of these by the cost. So I'll put a little multiplication sign here to let us know we're going to multiply. And then that will equal the amount of uh, cost attributable to setup. And we do the same thing for production run costs. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, supervision, uh, zero. We don't really have supervisors supervising the machine, so it's zero percent. Um, of factory rent, 20 percent. Uh, oh, that's not right. As, I, as, as I'm writing it, I'm thinking, you got to be kidding me. It should be a huge proportion of the factory rent, because that's where all the production equipment is and everything. And I'm thinking, and I look back, and no, it's not 20 percent. It is, sorry about that, 60 percent. 60 percent. That's more likely and more reasonable. Uh, then uh, for other indirect labor, zero percent. Zero percent. And then for uh, depreciation, a whopping, as you would expect, 80%. 80% of the depreciation in the factory is on, this production, on the production equipment. And then uh, supplies, 0%. And, and then uh, finally, utilities, they're using a whopping 80% of the utilities. So again, we're going to multiply each of these. Multiply each of these by the cost over here. So uh, 30,000 times 0% is going to be 0. And 80,000 times 60%. So now let's go to quality testing. Uh, quality testing is using 21% of the supervision. 10% 
of the uh, uh, factory rent, 30% of the other indirect labor. It's using 5% of the depreciation. It's using 20% uh, of the supplies. And it's using a mere 5% of the utilities, 5% of the utilities. So here we go. For uh, the other manufacturing cost is 69% uh, 60, of the supervision. It's 10% uh, of the factory rent. It's 20% of the other indirect labor. It's 10% of the depreciation. It's 50% of the supplies. And it's 5% uses 5% of the utilities. So we've got all the percentages in now. If we want, you know, for formal formality's sake, we can put the little multiplication signs in to let everybody know what we're doing here. And that will equal an amount, equal, 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 multiply. And now all we gotta do is to uh, do the multiplication for these things. So let's go ahead and, and, and do that. So doing the multiplication, 10% uh, of 30,000, we've already got that, that's uh, 3,000. Uh, 20% of, uh, of 80,000 is 16,000. 50% of 60,000 is 30,000. 5% of 280,000 is 14,000. And then 30% um, uh, of 10,000 is 3,000. And then 10% uh, of the uh, 30,000 is again 3,000. And so when we add this up, it, it, it adds to, it puts to $69,000. So the idea is the cost of operating the setup area of our company is, the, the indirect cost is $69,000, $69,000. So now we can use that number uh, to calculate the overhead allocation rate, which we'll do in a minute. And we simply do the rest of the math. And let me go ahead and do that real quick. Real quick, you can do it also. And so what you see here is we've got uh, Zero for uh, supervision, 48,000 for factory rent, zero for the indirect labor, uh, depreciations 224, zero for supplies, utilities 24, and a total of $296,000. Now let's go ahead and do the quality testing. So we've got the quality testing done here. We've got uh, 6,300, 6,300 for supervision. We've got $8,000 for uh, factory rent. We've got 18,000 for the uh, other indirect labor. We've got 14,000 for depreciation, 2,000 for supplies, and $1,500 for the uh, uh, utilities. So now let me go ahead and finish this up by doing the other manufacturing cost. 69% of the 30,000 is uh, 20,700. And going right on down the line, same math, same technique. And that ends up being 20,700, 8,000, 12,000, 28,000, 5,000, and 1,500 respectively for a total of 75,200. So there we have it. We've done uh, stage one. We've determined the cost of each of these smaller cost pools. And uh, so that's stage one. The next thing we've got to do is to allocate these costs, the 69,000, the 296, the 49,8, and the 75,2 to our products. And that is gonna be stage 
two, and that's the next video. So we're going to end this video at this point uh, with stage one, give you a little bit of a break, and then the next video will we will show you how to do the stage two allocation, allocating the cost of these activities to production. So stay tuned. I appreciate you watching the video. If it's helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, this is Mike from Miami saying bye for now.